This tutorial is about using a laptop software and song files instead of a karaoke disc player and discs. The laptop is meant to connect to a PA sound system and remote monitor. This is not about installing a software karaoke player and plugging a microphone into the laptop. The music files will be the industry standard computer karaoke format, MP3 plus GZIPT MP3 plus G song files to be precise. These song files are obtained by ripping song tracks from CD plus G discs, purchasing MP3 plus G discs, downloading individual MP3 plus G songs from the internet, or subscribing to a karaoke music service. The laptop you will need depends primarily on the karaoke hosting software that will be installed. The software discussed in this tutorial requires little in-system resources. The requirements will be any Windows laptop with an XP, Vista, 7 or 8 operating system, at least a 2 GHz processor, 128 MB system RAM, 64 MB video RAM, the extended desktop feature, most modern laptops have this. While it is recommended that you store your song files on an external USB hard drive, you may opt to store them on the laptop's hard drive, which may require that your laptop possess a large capacity hard drive. The karaoke hosting software we will be discussing is just karaoke. This program is suitable for professionals and home users alike. In my opinion it is the most user-friendly of any hosting software while maintaining all the professional features you are likely to need. These features include song database creation, song search by various criteria, singer rotation, singer history, venue history, next singer display, filler music, key change, instant sound effects, and remote monitor support. It is also one of the least expensive hosting applications. This is what Just Karaoke looks like before a song database is created. Notations added to point out the various features. The first step is to import your ZIP MP3 plus G Karaoke song files into the database. This doesn't physically move the song files, but simply creates a searchable database of them. This is done in several steps. First you will click on the Import Songs button. This will open the Select Format wizard. Now click on the Browse for a Sample button. Now you will browse to the folder with the Karaoke zip files. This is where you will select one of the files to show just Karaoke the song name format. Highlight one of the files and click the Open button. Now you're back to the format wizard so just click the next button. Here you must choose the correct format so that the title, artist, and disc ID, if you chose to use one, are displayed in the proper fields. Do you notice that I have my song files named by title and artist only? You can see where I selected title, artist, album, which resulted in the artist and title being displayed in the proper fields. Once you have this right click the finish button. Now you will once again browse to the folder that holds the karaoke zip files. Select the folder and click on the OK button. Within a few seconds all the song names will be imported into the database. The songs are now displayed in the database panel and can be searched and selected. To add a singer simply click on the plus button below the singer list panel. Then type the name into the pop-up and click OK. As you can see I have added three singers to the list. The zero in parentheses denotes that the singer has no songs in queue. The buttons to the right of the names lets you organize the order of the list. Now you can add songs for each singer. So let's say Bob requests the song Piano Man. In the search options section select title from the search on drop down. Type Piano Man in the search box and click the search button. 
Any songs with the both the words piano and man in the title will appear in the database section. Double click on the song title and the add song pop-up will appear. Click on the name Bob and select the key control setting if it was requested. Then click the OK button and the song will appear in Bob's song list. If Bob had the list of songs you could add them all to his list. To play a song you will double click on its name in the singer's list to load it into the player. Click the play button to start the song playing. You will see what the singer sees in the small preview screen. One of the greatest features of this program is that it saves a history of every singer and every song they have performed. Click on the Singer History button to open this panel where you can view the all the singer history and easily add them and their songs to the queue. You will connect the laptop to your mixer and monitor in much the same way as you would connect a standard karaoke disc player. The audio will connect from the line out or headphone jack of the laptop to your mixer with a 1 8 inch stereo to dual RCA adapter cable. The laptop will have a VGA video connection and probably HDMI also. You will need to find a way to adapt these to the type of connection supported by the TV or monitor you will be using. VGA to a computer monitor is as easy as running a VGA cable. The same situation with an HDMI out from the laptop to an HDMI input of a TV. This is in no way a comprehensive tutorial on all the Just Karaoke features, but it should be enough to get you started and show you how easy it is to turn a laptop into a karaoke player. For more karaoke articles and tutorials visit www.karaoke-tutor.com.